Hi, welcome to my channel again. Today we are going to see how to install and configure Zimra Mail Server, the Zimra Collaboration Community Edition on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8. This is our server topology. We have a standalone server here connected to internet with a public IP and we want to configure this as our mail server. So today we will install Zimra on this system. So let's get started. First, we need to configure the DNS server. We need to set up our domain's MX record so that other mail server on the internet can find our server to send mail to our domain. I have purchased my domain from GoDaddy, so we need to configure the GoDaddy DNS server. Let's log into GoDaddy DNS. Here I have logged into my GoDaddy account. This is the domain manager, DNS management. From here, we can manage our DNS records. Let's create an A record first. Our server name is Mailer and this points to our 58 IP. This is my server IP. Click Save. Now create the MX record. Host should be at the rate or the domain. Points to mailer.mailserverguru.com. This is the full FQDN and priority can be 10. Click Save. Now let's check these records are resolvable from the internet. Let's go to MX Toolbox and domain name mailserverguru.com. Let's find its MX record. Here it says the mailserverguru.com's MX is mailer.mailserverguru.com and its IP address. So we are done configuring the DNS server. Now let's go to server and install Zimbra. Here I have logged into my system. If we check our Red Hat release. We are in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.2. Check our host name and the FQDN mailer.mailserverguru.com and check the MX record from the system. It finds the mailserverguru.com mail is handled by mailer.mailserverguru.com. That means this server and I have downloaded the latest GCS or Zimbra edition. This is GCS 8.8.15 RHEL8. This is Red Hat Linux based package. So this package can be installed on Red Hat based Linux system like CentOS, Red Hat, Oracle Linux. We can install the same package on all these Linux distributions. And one thing we need to ensure on the system about the Red Hat subscription. I have subscribed to Red Hat developer subscription and it is free. Without Red Hat subscription, we cannot run YUM. If I show you how I register my system, here you can see this is the command subscription manager register and this is your username with the password. And after connecting to Red Hat, it says the product name Red Hat Enterprise Linux and status is subscribe and this is the system name mailer. So we must get subscribed, otherwise we cannot proceed with the installation. So now let's run yam install Perl. We need to install Perl before Zimra installation. Click yes. Now let's untar the package. Now let's run the installed SH. Do you agree with the term? This is the license agreement. Yes. Use Zimbra package repository. Yes. It's checking for the installable packages. So these packages are with the GCS bundle. So that's why it shows the local. Now it's asking the select the package to install. Install Zimbra LDAP. Yes. Logger, MTA, DNS cache, SNMP, store, Apache, spell, memcache proxy, drive, 
and Zimbra IMFD it says this is the evaluation only and it is not suggesting to install so we are leaving it like this Zimbra chat yes so the system will be modified continue yes beginning installation this is the installation log now it checks which is available to install and which needs to be downloaded it will download 11 packages it will take some time to download the Zimbra proxy component it's complete downloading packages now it's installing the packages installing local 26 packages now installing extra five packages package installation is done running post installation configuration now Zimbra is trying to resolve the MX record for the whole FUDN but it should search only the domain part so let's copy the domain portion and we need to change it so change domain name yes create domain let's let's paste the elsevergo.com okay now we have to choose the option 7 then 4 to save the password click R for previous menu A for apply save configuration data to a file yes this is the file the system will be modified continue yes now it's started to setting local config values it will take some time first it is generating SSL and it will apply the SSL to various services now it's saving various configuration to configuration files service configuration is done now it's starting the servers now installing common zimlets finished installing common zimlets restarting mailbox D creating global address list sync account for the default domain now the installation is almost done and it's asking notify Zimbra of your installation it's not that necessary so now the installation is complete press return to exit let's log in at Zimbra Let's check all the services. All services are running. Now let's go to a web browser and log into the Zimbra admin panel. So are all services are running and this is the Zimbra version. Let's go to manage, create an account. Let's say Munna. So we are creating a user. Let's open the web mail for Munna. Let's send a mail from Gmail. If our server configuration is okay, then our server will receive the mail before that let's run the server log tail now we are in gmail let's send a mail to munna at mailservergo.com test 123 test 123 click send now let's see the log file So the server is receiving mail from Gmail from munnabai at gmail.com to munna at mailservergo.com and it says status sent delivery ok and it's removed from the queue manager. So it delivered the mail to the inbox. Now if we see the web mail we receive mail from munnabai at gmail.com. 
so our configuration is okay now if we reply to this mail test received click send if you see the log from munna at mailserverguru.com to munna at gmail.com and relay to gmail server if we check on the gmail the server received test received so our mail server configuration is 100 percent okay so this is it for today thank you for being with me and if you still didn't subscribe to my channel please subscribe it will encourage me a lot to create more videos for you so thank you and i'll see you on the next video bye